Yo guys, welcome to this episode on Bovernie channel. If you like what you're watching, remember to subscribe and like. It's really helpful to this channel. And continue to test drive different cars or letting you see the inside look, outside look of the of different vehicles. Uh, special shout out to BMW Canada for giving me this ride. In front of me is the 2021 BMW M440i uh, X-Drive Coupe. X-Drive means all-wheel drive. And uh, this is on the higher end trim level of the 4 Series Coupe. Two doors, four, four uh, passengers. And um, on the other channel, I've talked about the out, outside look of it. Now in this episode, I'm going to talk about the inside look. But I want to let you see the combination of the gray color body paint outside coupled with the red leather jacket. Now, as you can see here, let me do this. So as long as you have the key fob, the car will sense that you are actually leaving the car and the rear view will actually fold it and the door, doors will close. You don't even have to do anything with it. Now, if you're approaching the car, you can see the rear view, the sensor will know that you're coming in and the rear view mirror is back to driving mode and then you just open the door and this is what it looks like. Now they have a very beautiful sound system made by Carmen Cordon. And this is what it looks like from the interior. I really like the material of the red, the black, coupled with all these kind of like aluminum looking silver stuff. Uh, it is a good uh, combination of it. And then it has a sunroof, which I really like, especially these kind of weather. Now, fun fact, people call me Sunshine Boy because every time when I test drive a car, that week, the weather is always nice. So this is what how, how it works. Now, so basically on both sides of the chair, um, if someone needs to go to the back, you just have a handle here and then you pull back and then you go like this. Now the chair will also move while slowly so that you can have passenger going in there. Okay, so let me go inside. It sits four people, and this is what it looks like. And then here's the armrest. And then you have the cup holders. And then there's the center slot where you can put skis or four by two wood. And here's the back of the chair. You can see that they have a net that you can put your stuff. There's the ventilation in the back. Um, they have the USB cord for people who need social media and and stuff to keep people occupied. And here is the window that for people on the back. I will say like it is decent leg room and also decent headroom. But obviously, if you're taller, your head will hit a little bit. But it's still doable. And then there's the sunroof, and this is what it looks like to the front. Okay. And then now I'm gonna pull this. And then the car and the seat will actually move forward so that you can uh, get out. Now it is on the slow side, but at least it automatically do it. So it's actually pretty cool. Now let me show you to the front. <clears throat> so this is the steering wheel. Now um, I just realized that the seat heat is uh button is right here in the past past model are actually put it on the side on the left panel not anymore so this is good the heated steering wheel is right here at the center console there are a bunch of all these different buttons uh you know the, the cruise control the, the phone line the volume um in particular i really like the dashboard as you can see this is an entirely digital display you can tell that you know, they would tell you how much gas you have, how much, uh, how much like uh, temperature outside, and your total mileage so far. And I really like the the model of the graphic of the M440i is actually in the dashboard. And then I also like the fact that it's telling you, hey, you're driving an M440i, so it's nice. Now I do have to take some time to get used to this kind of graphic display because, as as especially on here, the gas view consumption it's a little bit hard for me to kind of like okay is it empty right now or is it it is or is it like halfway done now obviously they tell you you have 375 kilometers left but sometimes i'm a visual person so like looking at the bar like this i'm not quite sure um whether it's coming empty or is full tank because they have two red bars like one on the top one on the bottom now this is just more like a preference things um and then there's all kinds of buttons here on the left there's a con slot uh, compartment and then fault lights all these different patterns of lights 
and then the gear shifter here. I uh, really love the thickness and the feel of this steering wheel, especially as per usual, BMW is really good with their suspension and really good with the giving you a really nice feel of, of the driving conditions that you're in. Uh, in particular, I also really like the way this um, screen is situated. It's very nice height and I like the fact that it curves perfectly into the dashboard design. Uh, it has very rich material. It's not like there are buttons everywhere. But these are functional buttons, not like other brands where like they give you like a whole keyboard of keypads and you're like, what the hell? What's going on, right? So this one is very reasonable in terms of buttons and the button looks a little bit uh, rich material. I like the way like e these knobs on the ventilations goes. The screen is just really nice. And then I also like the fact that uh, you can close your compartment so that people doesn't know what's inside. And then when you open, there's two cup holders and then there's the charging phone charging uh, system and I got to tell you more and more of these cars nowadays will give you a uh, phone charging and for a uh, social media person like myself this is greatly appreciated because we always have to post we always have to check our phones and I just don't like the wire attaching everywhere and kind of like taking away your driving experience because these wires are everywhere right but you don't have to do it anymore because you just need to put in the phone the moment your engine is on, you, they are charging your phone. So it's always making sure that your phone is ready. And this is the 8-speed automatic. Um, the only thing I'm not quite used to, but I'm not really a fan, is the start engine button is now located here. Now in past models, the start button is right here. And I still feel like this is a great spot for the start button. It's distinguished from the rest of these buttons. Sometimes I'm worried that I might miss suddenly hit the button by mistake or something and it just blended right into the thing. I personally feel like I prefer the start button some, some where the original space is. But again, this is personal preference. And then here is a compartment box and then they have the USB cords here as well. And then here's where you put your stuff here. I do like the, the patterns and the setup of heat of the leather seats. Like I like the mid section here where it kind of like their lines to give you a feel to it. And then here's the glove box and then um, the speaker here. And I also like the light pattern here. As you can see, one, the lights are big. And also you can see the different wavy pattern. It's actually give it a more luxurious, very different lights and everything. And here's the sunroof. Now, in case people doesn't drive a coupe, this one will actually has a motorized seatbelt, which a lot of companies does. They motorize so that it comes up it sends that there's a passenger there and then it will pull up so that you don't have to work so hard to grab your seatbelt like any other car so this is a nice touch but it's always there uh, for a coupe and uh, yeah again I really dig this dashboard digital let me turn on the engine so that you can hear the engine sound So you can hear some pop on the, on the exhaust and I really like it. You can't, you don't even really have to do anything with this car and it's already rear roll. Um, I just also want to let you know that these are different modes. So I'm, they have different graphics for different modes and I really want to show you and it's really cool. They have really cool modes. So now they are in Eco Pro Comfort, which is standard and the Sport, which is my favorite and you can tell the difference from the exhaust. You can tell, like, there's a difference. But uh, in another episode, I will show you the exhaust system. Special shout out to BMW Canada, and uh, if you like what you see, uh, be sure to subscribe. Thank you.